So today, I'll be showing you how to use the camera control button on your iPhone 16. Now, this button is the new feature, probably the biggest news of the iPhone 16 lineup, and it's available for the, uh, all the iPhone 16s. Now, before I proceed with this video, apologies for some background noise you might hear during this video. There's something going on outside, some construction. I hoped on a Sunday morning they won't be here, but they're here anyway. So, uh, the camera control button is the new flagship feature for iPhone 16s. Now, this is a button, even though Apple continuously refuses to call it a button. And this button also has haptic feedback. So it's not only a button, it's also a haptic button. So we have a full press on the button, which generally launches the camera app. And once the camera app has been launched, you press the button again fully, and that takes photos. If you're in video mode, you press the button fully, it starts recording videos. You press it again, it stops recording. But there's also a half press, okay? Now, the half press has the tactic feedback. If you do a half press, which is basically half the pressure you use for a full press, it brings up some controls. And these controls, now, as soon as they appear, this button is also uh, a slide button. So you can just slide across to switch between different things on the camera app. And let's say, for instance, you wanted to switch cameras. So we just move it to cameras, and then you can either half press again or leave it like that. Let me half press, and that brings the camera switching buttons. So a half press brings it up, and then I can switch between the wide angle camera, back to the main camera, the two, 2x uh, telephoto and the 5x telephoto so half press to bring it up and then slide to bring up the 5x telephoto now if you want that uh, button to do something else uh, besides switching the cameras you just half press and then double half press and then it's going to bring up the main menu and then now you can switch to something else you can make it zoom so if you want it to zoom then half press to select that and then now that button is now a zoom button that you can use to zoom in and out on the camera okay if you want to leave the zoom function double half press and then go to something else like photographic styles tone stuff like that now different options are going to be available at different times depending on which camera mode you're in so in photo mode you have different options you have uh, different options for portrait mode, uh, special video, all this stuff, okay? Now, that is basically the easiest way to explain how to use this button. Now, whatever you select, let's go to photo mode, for instance, and you do a half press on that button. And then you can zoom in and out. And then a full press always takes photos, okay? So let's say you go to the wide angle, and you do a full press that one always takes photos no matter what you're doing okay so that is basically how to use that button so you have different functions if you go to portrait mode for instance and do a half press then a double half press to go to the main menu you can see we can switch cameras but photographic styles has been disabled because this is portrait mode so like i said different options on this action or the camera control button are going to be available at different times depending on which camera mode you're in now this also works in selfie mode unfortunately you cannot use this camera control button to switch between the front and the back camera but of course you can still use this and then this also takes uh, photos with a full press take your selfies and then also a half press gives you options depending on what's available so for instance we don't have zoom in the selfie camera then we have depth, you can switch depth, you can change exposure, you can change all that stuff, okay? Now, if you want to, you can actually go ahead and disable that button. Or if it's disabled on your iPhone for some reason, you can actually go ahead and enable it. So to do that, go to settings on your iPhone 16, and then under settings, go to accessibility, tap on that. Under accessibility, scroll down to camera control, and this is where you find the settings for that camera control button. So at the top here, we have the option to disable that button. And with that button disabled, it means it's not going to work. 
either for full press or even half press okay when you enable it it works okay so let's go back to settings then we also have the light press which is basically what i'm calling the half press so you can disable the half press and you can only remain with the button for launching the camera and taking photos so you'll notice with that disabled with a half press or the light press disabled you can use the button with a full press to launch the camera but if i try to do a half press it doesn't work okay so you can see i'm pressing it's not working only the full press works to take photos and to switch between the camera or, or, or i mean to launch the camera so if you go back to that settings page you'll also let's go ahead and enable that you can also change the sensitivity of that camera so uh, you can have the different sensitivity for a press the middle part is the default sensitivity which i find okay but if you want it to be lighter let's say your fingers are not uh, very strong or maybe a child is using this uh, phone and the fingers are not very strong you can make it lighter or you can make it firmer if you feel that it's too light for you but for me the default is fine same goes for the double light press you can adjust the speed for the double light press default works fine for me but if you want it to be slower so you can you can press it you can double light press slower then you can enable slow or you can even enable much much slower okay but for me default works just fine so that is basically how to use the camera control on the iphone 16 and iphone 16 pros on this uh 2024 iphone flagship thanks for watching you can leave any comments or questions you have down in the comment section below and i'll talk to you guys in the next one